Okay, Reddit. Uh, this idea came about because my girlfriend's studying abroad this semester, and uh, I wanted to be able to give her a personal gift, a personal little moment, um, every single day, um, even though I couldn't be there with her. Um, and I wanted it to be something that, that didn't have anything to do with the daily routine. Um, I wanted it to be, I wanted to be able to surprise her a little bit, uh, every day with something different. Um, both to liven up our relationship a little bit, just because, you know, things can go a little bit stale over the distance. Uh, it's hard to, to keep things fresh. Um, and also to distract her from that distance, uh, just to give her something different to do to, to take her mind off it. Um, and just to put myself right there with her, um, in some small way. Uh, so the result of those considerations, uh, is this, um, which... I somehow ended up calling an encouragement calendar. Um, now this is the second one I've made. Um, she currently has the first one, uh, and she's 20 something days into it. Um, but this one is going to be sent off to her later today, just finished it. And, uh, so I wanted to show you guys what it's like before, uh, it goes in the mail. Um, so let me show you what it is and how it works. Okay, so to actually make this thing, you're going to need a lot of different supplies. Um, you basically want to think of scrapbooking. Um, that's basically what you're going to be doing to make this thing. Um, and those are the supplies that you're going to need. So I've got colored pencils, I've got lots of different Sharpies, I've got um, various um, calligraphy felt tip pens, I've got a nice scalpel there to... Uh, to, for the fine cutting, I've got tape and glue, scissors. That's the actual um, calendar, but what it's actually made out of is sort of a cardstock thing. You can get it at uh, Michael's, um, and it's just various colors, and it'll come in a stack of like 40 or 50 different cards, um, and they're all sort of glued together in the back, um, which it ma makes it perfect for a book, um, the way I used it. Um, and you're going to need, I, I just grabbed a bunch of random, colorful, um, kind of a cardstock, um, but decorative paper. Um, and, uh, you can use it for whatever you want. I just bought it and figured out what to do with it later. Um, and the other thing you're going to need, in addition to your scrapbooking stuff, you're going to need a computer. Um, and specifically, you're going to need, uh, a website like Imgur. Uh, Imager is for the pictures that are going to be involved, and you're going to need a website that is going to allow you to create QR codes. Um, this is what my encouragement calendar is based off of a lot, um, uh, but they're those, those barcode-like things that you scan with your phone, and it takes you to a particular website. This lets you create your own, and this allows you to link to pictures online into your little encouragement calendar. Um, so those are really the supplies that you're going to need. Um, and so let me now show you what the book is like. Okay, so here's the encouragement calendar. Um, now the way I have this set up is the days are numbered in the bottom. Um, now, these numbers are based off of how long we have been apart. Um, so this, when she sees this, when she starts this calendar, it'll be the 31st day that we've been apart. Um, I'm going to end up making four of these. Uh, in total, the semester is going to be about 120 days. So 30, 30, 30, 30 works out perfectly. Um, so this is the second one. So this takes us from day 31 all the way to day 60. Um, but let's start off with the first page. So the first page is, uh, interactive. So I've got, I, I end up using a lot of layers in this. Um, so there are multiple pieces of cardstock that I've, uh, put on here, um, to sort of make it a lot more interactive. So it's not just text or pictures or whatever 
um, on each card for each day. It's something that she gets involved in. It's a little bit of a surprise. Um, so this one, it, and by the way, this can be as corny as you want it. Um, for for us, corny works a little bit, um, uh, and especially for the long distance relationship, a little bit of corniness is is nice. Um, so this one just says, "Hey, honey, I know what you love to hear." Um, and there's a little tab up here that I've created, and so what happens when you pull it up is it changes, so it says, hey, honey, I love you. Um, and so the th I created a theme for this particular calendar, and the theme is the reasons that I love her. Um, so she's been asking me about that lately, um, to rattle off the reasons that I love her. So... That's what the this calendar is about. Um, so this just says, but let me tell you why. Um, so this is, it just kind of opens up, and you can tuck the corners in so it actually stays down. Um, that's one of the tricks I discovered. Um, uh, so that's the theme of the calendar. So... Um, this is the, the first page. Now this looks plain, and it's because the QR codes are not on there yet. Um, there's, there are going to be Q, QR codes. Um, again, they look like that. Um, and they will be in these blank spaces, um, but they're not in there yet. Um, but uh, So th it's just a little personal message. Um, and something to pick her up. Um, so, for that particular day, day 32, she'll get this, and, uh, you guys don't need to see that one. <laughs> um, just a personal message. Uh, but it's something different every single day, that's the important thing. Something that just reminds her of us, what we're about, why it's worth it, why I love her, and hopefully to remind her why she loves me. Okay, so here we start to get into stuff that's a little more interactive. We're, we're no longer doing just message stuff. Um, so I've drawn a little picture of a secret agent lady, um, and, uh, stolen a line from Mission Impossible. So, I created a little envelope here, it says top secret, so, this is her mission inside, um, and so you take out the, the message, and so it says just draw a picture, it can be of anything, have fun. Uh, she's not good at drawing, that's not her forte, so, this is, it's partially a joke, but it's partially to get her something that's outside of her comfort zone, and just to do something different that she wouldn't normally do. Um, and also because it's for me, uh, it's something that's more of a connection to us and to the relationship uh, to keep things going. So that's a, that's a mission, just to get her to do something that she wouldn't normally do. Uh, so I'll just stick that back in there. So there are a million different possibilities for, for ways that you can make this sort of thing interactive. Um, so this is actually something uh, where there's going to be a QR code here, um, and it's you can link to, in addition to linking to pictures, on Imager. Uh, you can link to YouTube videos if you'd like. You can really link to any website you want. Um, uh, and so for this particular one, as a joke, I'm going to link to uh, uh, Temperature, the song Temperature. I think it's by like Sean Paul or something like that. Um, uh, just as a joke. Um, not a particular fan of the song itself, 
but it's pertinent and it'll be funny. Um, so a lot of times what you can do is you can make the message here and then the QR code can take you to something else that's, that can change the tone. It can be a joke. It can be especially, it's especially good if it's an inside joke. Um, but it just adds a, a, another, a little more depth to, um, to every single day to each card. And feel free to be as cute as you want. It's supposed to be personal. So you personalize it for yourself and for for your partner. So here we go. I've just, I sort of drew something. Um, so this isn't a QR code, obviously. It's just a picture that I decided to draw. Um, so if you have artistic talents, this is a great way to showcase them and use them. Uh, and if you don't, go for the stick figures. They work too. Uh, okay, so this is another sort of interactive thing. Um, it's more just for the imagery. Um, so these are two hands holding on to each other. Um, the bigger one presumably is mine. Um, but uh, I decided that it would be boring just to have two hands holding on to each other, so I separated the hands, um, and uh, I made it so you can actually swivel the hand here um, using some layers of cardstock. Um, I basically created a, a bit of a, a hinge, sort of. Um, uh, so it allows it to spin just like that and so the hands can separate she can play with it, they can come back together which we hope they do at the end of the day um, so that's just a nice little touch again just to make it interesting, just to make it something different Sorry for losing frame for a second there. Um, so yeah. Um, oh yeah. So my, we're going to be celebrating my birthday while she's gone. Um, so this is just kind of a joke. Um, uh, this one is going to link. I, I photoshopped um, my face onto a picture of Superman. Um... So, something silly. Oh, this is a great one. Um, so this is just something completely silly and cute. Um, so, just as a little bird told me, and so the bird can actually be taken out, it sort of tucks into these bushes that I made, um, but it kind of take cuts out, and the wing can fold up and it says you're cute. Very simple. Um, but it's, in addition to being the inter having the interactive part where you have to lift up the wing, on the back, it's, you can see once you lift it up, it says I'm also a finger puppet. Um, and you can see that on the back here, I added some paper I, and I crazy glued it down and so there's a little pouch that you can stick your finger into and you've got a little bird finger puppet um, that she can play with. <laughs> Again, really simple, really silly, um, but just something different. So we'll get that back in there. Okay. Um, here I have a little house. Um, it's tucked in, the, it has a door that's tucked in with a triangular piece of paper, just like on the front page. Um, just keep it down, and so, it's a little interactive thing. Um, this is great. Um, we would read a particular magazine together. Um, obviously when we were 
physically together. So I cut out um, some pages from the magazine, um, and I'm asking her to look at them uh, and let me know what she thinks of them. They're, they happen to be ha pictures of houses, um, which is something we enjoyed looking at together and picking out our favorite houses. Um, so if you can bring anything that's that you two did together um, and sort of get that back into the long-distance relationship somehow, that's awesome. Um, so that's what I'm hoping to do here with this particular page. Uh, oh, okay. So this is just something fun for her to do. It has almost nothing to do with our relationship except for the little message that's here. Um, but as you can see, I've created a sort of a fishbowl, um, and it's got to <laughs> save them. Um, we like watching Disney movies together. They're silly, and we get to act like children. Um, so they're stickers, um, and she can play with them, do what she wants with them. It's something different. It mixes things up, so I've got it so you peel this back a little bit and you get to set them free. I've just got some double-sided tape with that and it's clear, uh, clear plastic which is actually what the stickers came in. Um, here we've got another mission um, just like the one before. Uh, I'm not gonna open this because it's held together with sort of stickers um, but I don't know if you can see it very well but it, the message is actually in Morse code. Um, so she's going to have to decode that. She may hate me for 15 minutes while she's doing it, but it's busy work and it's worth it. Um, uh, what is the, I don't even remember what this one is. Actually, this is a good time because I don't remember what this is. How the hell are you supposed to remember what your significant other is actually looking at on every single day, um, when you don't have the notebook? Uh, you don't have the encouragement calendar in front of you. Um, so what I do is I have um, a Word document set up that basically has all the text um, for each individual day, uh, including any description of a picture that I included with it and the link to that picture so I can look at whatever she's going to be looking at. Um, so this day is day 49. Um, and so if I scroll down to day 49, I can see that there is the Morse code, and I have the translation there. It says, draw a picture of us doing something together at a place you want to visit. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to be visiting her um, at the end of her semester. I'm going over to Europe, um, and so... The idea of this is she's going to draw a picture of us doing something wherever, and then hopefully we'll get to actually do whatever that thing was uh, when I go over there. So it's uh, so it gets her busy on that day and also gets her looking forward to what we're going to do together later on. Uh, memories. Um, I was stupid. I threw leaves at her. She didn't like that. But it was a good memory. <laughs> um, this is something completely random. This was actually on Reddit. <laughs> uh, Reddit is good, is good material for um, keeping busy and distracted. Um, but this is just a YouTube, it's a series of YouTube videos that are pretty interactive, and I thought that they were funny, so, um, I'm introducing her to it. Um, again, just a personal thing, but I've got a picture at the bottom there. Uh, we have Dropbox, um... And Dropbox is great because it allows us to um, send each other pictures, videos, documents, stuff like that instantaneously. It's great. We love it. Um, more stickers. 
These are just flowers. She can do whatever she wants with them. But I included a little personal message to go with it, which is always important. Uh, more message. And that's going to be a link to a YouTube video. Um, back rubs. This is going to link to a picture of a Rage comic that I made just for us. Um, she gives good back rubs, let me tell you. Um, this is going to be another YouTube video. Uh, um, the lake is just a vacation place for my family. Um, Oh, this is, okay, so this is, I think it's, yeah, the second to last day for this particular calendar. Um, uh, so this is partially a joke. Um, obviously, Pandora's box, uh, when it was opened, unleashed all the evil into the world. Um, so we have a little box here. It's just kind of really basic origami. It doesn't even count as origami, really. Um... But uh, if we just pull it open, it opens itself. I can only use one hand here. Um, and there's a little message inside. Um, and it's, it's just a rolled up piece of paper um, tied together with some thread. Um, and what it actually is, it's uh, like a gift certificate for... She gets to make me do whatever I whatever she wants for a day. So that's why it's Pandora's box, because that's dangerous. <laughs> um, and that's the last day. Um, this relates to uh, a necklace that we have. Um, we each have one side of a puzzle piece, um, and they fit together. Uh, and so this is day 60, it's halfway to 120, and hopefully I'd be seeing her, so it's halfway. Uh, so, that's my encouragement calendar, um, so if you guys like the idea, um, let me know, um, if you have ideas, let me know, that's even better, um, because I have to make two more of these, <laughs> um, but uh, the important thing is, is if you think this is a good idea and you're interested in making something that's even remotely like it, <clears throat> um, it's it's personal. Um, you you make every single day, every single page, something that you think that your significant other would appreciate. Uh, whatever you think they need to see, what they want to see. Um, it's completely customizable. It's uh, a very personal gift. Um, and I know that my girlfriend absolutely loves the first one that she's gotten. Um, and uh, gives us something to talk about every single day. Um, uh, she'll show me she'll show me the page that she got and she'll tell me what she liked about it. and it's a it's a nice. It's a nice way to keep the relationship fresh. Um, so, if you have any ideas, let me know. If you like it, that's great. Uh, if you use it, that's even better. Um, so, I hope that I have been of service to you, and that uh, and that your your long distance relationships are stable and fruitful. Thanks, Reddit. <laughs>